Hi, I'm Ross from Kimsmith Property Accountants in Hamilton. Just going to do a real quick video and showing you how to get your information into Xero. Um, so I'm just going to share my screen so hopefully you can see what I'm working on. And you should be able to see um, you should be able to see the zero information in front of you. Just an example, Kimsmith rental example, what the rental income is, what the expenses is. We then want to, um, yeah, we want to attach a receipt or keep a copy of a tax invoice and a few different ways we can do that. So one of the ways, if you go up to the top, go into the files section. And this brings up the different files that you can get within um, within Xero. So the first thing, what you'll notice at the top is, is a unique email address. So if you send an email um, to this address, then that will come in there. So for example, uh, I've taken a picture of a kitten, um, I've emailed it to that email address, and then that comes up within the files. Um, also done the same with a, another image. What you'll notice is when you're emailing it, things like here, yeah, the Coombe Smith um, letterhead and things like that will come up. So it picks up that I've done the kitten, um, but it's also picked up the, the letterhead. Um, another way you can do it is you can take a photo. So I've used the webcam and taken a photo. Or another way I've done it is I've used the Xero app on my phone. Um, and you can click on the plus symbol, upload to files inbox, and then you can take a photo from there. So I've taken a photo of something from my cell phone, um, and that's something else that you can bring in. So if you're out and about, you get a receipt, you can take a picture, um, and it basically brings it into this, or you can get someone to email it through to you, or if you get a receipt or an in, uh, invoice email to you, you can just, yeah, basically email it through to this file, and it'll come into your zero. What happens then? So if we know that we've spent some of this money on um, those repairs and maintenance, and we had a painting invoice, and we've emailed it through to ourselves, what we can do is go through into that invoice. We can then actually attach it in here. Um, so we can add from our file library. We could take the image that yeah, I took on my phone, uh, on my mobile. We could add it in there. And then basically, if you go back to it later, you can see that there's one attached. You could click on it. You could then see what that is. And in the real world, you'd want that to be the same invoice matching up to the $2,500. Um, but yeah, it gives you an example of how you can bring in that and then attach it. So that then later on, if someone's reviewing your information, they can then look, oh, what was that 2,500 repairs? And actually see the invoice there. So that's a real good way of keeping your records and helping you with zero. Um, so hopefully you found that really useful. And so just remember, there's sort of a few different ways you can do it. You can use the unique email, um, email yourself through, uh, which is a great way. I'll show people how to do that again. Um, so just to show you that again, you go up to the top where it's got your name, you go to the file section, and then the top right of the files, it's just coming, taking a little while to come through, it'll have your unique email that you can email through to. The other one is take a photo. Um, and yeah, the, the last one that we did was just getting the app on your phone and then going to the plus symbol, upload to files inbox. And then, yeah, I took a photo with my phone as well. And that's another way to bring in information. Uh, so hopefully you found that really useful. Watch out for our other videos and other information. Thank you.